and away we go. So I'm actually super excited about this one. This is the first two-story plan that we've been able to get into. I know a lot of people have been looking for like the single-story layouts, which we've been getting into a heap of those two, but this one is kind of a unique uh, two-story, uh, one that I haven't actually featured before uh, in any way whatsoever. So that's kind of cool, just a little unique thing for me. And looking up there, look at that little cutout up there with the windows. That looks pretty cool. But this is your front door when you do first walk in. And it's got a few things happening right here in the foyer. First of all, you got this great big kind of chandelier hanging down over the top of it. You've got this uh, big old space for some storage. If, you know, if you, not storage, decorations, you know what I mean. But uh, right off of that, this is to the right of the front door, you've got a coat closet. And then as you continue to kind of work your way back this way, this door right here would be your access into the garage. Uh, right now it's set up as offices, so we're not gonna go too far into there, but all the way up at the front of the house is the laundry room. So you've got washer dryer hookups right here, and then a nice shelf, little spot to pull your clothes out to dry or hang them up, keep them from getting all wrinkly. And then next to that, you've got a little linen closet right here, maybe another little storage closet. And then we'll get into the home. I mean, these ceilings are ginormous. You've got the stairs right here going up to the second floor, uh, right at the end of the foyer. And then we get into kind of the main common areas. You've got this beautiful dining room, which I love that it's open to above. I think that looks really sharp got the big old light fixture hanging down over the top of the table itself and then this big old wine rack display but yeah the one that we just got out of it had like a fun little almost like a little wine cellar it's basically like a wet bar uh, but it had a bunch of cabinets in it and uh, little wine racks I thought it looked really cool but from there you come into the living room space this is very cozy feeling it's right here next to the kitchen, which is pretty unique. <laughs> I have to be honest, I don't think I've ever seen the little sitting room uh, separating the dining room from the kitchen. That's pretty interesting, but I do appreciate the fact uh, that the dining room itself has such a grand feel with that kind of open to above space. But all the way at the back, is the kitchen. You've got this great big island. You've got the nice pendant lights hanging down over the top of it. Dishwasher. Not soft clothes, but I'm sure that's something you could upgrade to. You've got the big old stainless undermount sink right here. And then on this side, you've got even more cabinets. Now these feel like, no. They felt like they were going to be soft clothes for a second. Plenty of seating on this side of the island. And then on this side, again, uh, I just saw this in the other home, which I absolutely love. It's like this little bench area right here below the windows. And I checked. There's not storage underneath of there, but still a fun little spot just to kind of sit and hang out. And I know before we get, we didn't finish the kitchen yet. I just wanted to go ahead and poke my head out here. You got a little back patio. Put yourself some seats, maybe a little table right here so you can sip on some of that wine hanging over there in the dining room. Then continuing with the kitchen. Let's see, what are these? Are these dishwashers? No, like little ice chests little drink coolers, something along those lines. This I guess would be like a little dry bar area. You got like this soapstone tile too, which looks really good. Some of these I'm gonna fumble through because I've just never seen them before. <laughs> but there's the ice maker. That's the fun of touring all these homes. You know what I mean? Especially once we start finding different unique homes. It's my favorite part. Uh, in the corner, you've got a nice pantry. Then continuing around the rest of the kitchen, you've got a built-in microwave and oven. Ooh, that's nice. So you do have the two ovens. You've got your gas range. 
Then you've got the range hood, some nice glass pane cabinets. Then the refrigerator. I want to back up here just to get a good scan of the kitchen. I don't feel like I did, but I just wanted to show like cabinets go all the way up to the ceiling just to give you a good view. Then right off of the kitchen is the master suite. Ooh, look at that. That nice accent wall right there. I'm a sucker for some natural wood accents. It just looks good. Kind of matches. Oh, they just ran the floor up is what it looks like. That's pretty neat. So you've got the, the floor color right here. And then in the corner, it just kind of meets the floor and kind of goes on up. So I like that. Nice size room. You've got the bay windows back behind us, which look really good. And then from there, you've got the double doors that open up into this smaller, mostly because I don't think it has a tub, but I love the shower ensuite. You got the double vanities, fun little tile backsplash going all the way up to the ceiling. And then again, nice car wash shower. Kind of got the almost a zero. No, it's not a zero threshold. Just kidding. I started to think it was, but we've got shower head, rainfall shower head, removable shower head, another shower head, and then you can walk all the way through it down at the end. All these Texas homes, they've had like a little drop into the shower itself, which is interesting. I think Florida did that too. And then all the way at the back is the master closet. Kind of wraps around a little bit. Yeah, those have been the only two states that I've seen showers like that. Uh, let me know down in the comments in your state, like the new builds and stuff. Um, if the shower tray kind of drops down a little bit. I'd be interested to know which states uh, do that and which ones don't. Um, coming back through the living room, just before you get to the dining room, you've got a few more little things happening. So you've got a powder room over here with the single pedestal vanity and a toilet. And then a linen closet all the way at I guess not all the way at the back. It's not that big, you know what I mean? The powder room. And then again, two more double doors that open up into this nice office. I think that's pretty much the standard nowadays. <laughs> Every home is coming with a, a home office. You've got the Another little closet. I guess you could turn this into a bedroom if you wanted to, since it's got the closet. That goes way back there, huh? Then from here, we'll go ahead and work our way upstairs. Uh, just remember, if you do want any more information uh, on this model, you can find that right there at the top of the description, or you can go over to timothyplivingston.com, where you can search not only this floor plan, but all the floor plans that we've toured across the country. You can see if they're built in your area filter them down based off of layout, square footage, number of bedrooms, and now you can finally filter them based off of one of your recommendations by price. So that's super cool. Then up at the top of the stairs, you've got this little loft space. That is the exact Highland Cow picture that we had hanging in our living room in Delaware. I forget where we get it from. I wanna say like Hobby Lobby or something, but uh, we still got it, we saved it. It's probably gonna go in our next house. But you've got the banister right here looking down into the dining room. And then just another great spot. This is a lot of the secondary bedrooms are up here. So this would be a good spot for the kids to come and hang out, play their video games, maybe set up some, some school stuff up here. And then we'll get into the bedrooms. So this is the first one. This sits, I guess most of them are all gonna sit on the same side of the house. And into its closet. Got a little step in with shelves on either side. linen closet in between this one and the next one 
I think this one has, this can be a four bedroom, but this particular home, I think it has the fifth optional bedroom. Of course, right now it's set up as a, uh, like a workout room. But we'll get to that in a minute. A little bit different layout of a closet. This almost feels bigger. I'm sure it's about the same size, but feels a little bigger. Then across the hall, you've got the full bathroom up here with double vanities. And then at the back, there's a toilet and then a shower and tub combo with like the subway tile surround. Then all the way at the end of the hall, this is another basically bedroom. This sits all the way at the back of the house. But they got it set up like a little workout room right now. And then you've got its closet over here in the corner. All right, let me know what you think about this home down in the comments. If you want any more information on this model or Highland Homes, again, you can click the link right there at the top of the description, or you can go over to timothyplivingston.com where you can search not only this floor plan, but all the floor plans that we've toured across the country. You can see if they're built in your area. With that, I hope you had an amazing time touring this home with me. I enjoyed it very much. And with that, my name is Timothy. I look forward to seeing your beautiful face in the next one.